Hi, I'm Chef Sarah Tresser, and we're going to go over the new Smart Touch 2 control for the BX and the BCX. First, you have your display, the USB, which is for recipes, uh, upload and download, software revisions, HACCP, and diagnostics. You have your heat cutoff switch, circuit breaker, and your core probe port. To begin, you select power. Your, you have your standby mode, which is manual screen. Your menu, which is your recipes, um, creation, and using. You have a rack timer function, which is any recipes that, have, that you can create groups for and do them on individual shelves. You have your USB and your cool down. First, we're gonna go into manual cooking. First thing you'll want to do is select your mode. You have hot air mode, combi mode, you select the amount of humidity. You have retherm, again, you can select the amount of humidity and steam. You can also, if you're in combi mode, you can use the slider bar itself in 5% increments to adjust, or you can press and hold on it to do 1% increments. Next you have your temperature. Then you have your timer. You have minutes and seconds or hours and minutes. You have four fan speeds in this oven. You also have this arrow pop out. This brings out your flyouts where your probe would be. You can use that for cook and serve or cook and hold. You have the add a minute function, which adds a minute every time you press it. You also have steam on demand, which is a duration of time you set for an burst of humidity. You also have your vent key, which is open or closed. You have fan delay, which means that you can pause the fan for a duration of time that you set. Fan reversal. So that you can set that also yourself. And then you have your light. Once the oven has reached temperature um, or, or preheated, the start key will populate. Now we're gonna go into um, menu creation, recipes, select menu. Here you can select, uh, create a new menu, create a new category or favorites. Favorites is where once you've created recipes that you've marked them as favorites, they'll populate into that category right there for quick retrieval of those recipes that you're using all the time. But first we're gonna go into creating a new recipe. Touch the text. You can name your recipe. Save it. You can associate a picture to that recipe. You can add it to a category. Select done. You can mark it as a favorite like we just talked about. You can now build your recipe itself. Temperature. Time. Fan speed. Fan reversal and fan delay, humidity. So you can choose the mode and it will automatically go to the default setting of that mode. Or you can choose the mode and select the amount of humidity that you'd like for it. You have your vent, vent delay, which stops the vent from being open, opens the vent at, after a given amount of time. And then you have your probe key. Probe, internal probe, enter, and then the hold will populate if you'd like to do a cook and hold. If, it, if you do, highlight it, and then save. To use an existing recipe, select menu, select your category, select your item, once the oven's preheated, let's start. 
to use the probe while in a manual manual mode, press your fly out, press the probe, enter your desired internal temperature, enter, and then you insert your probe. If you're doing a cook and serve, once the internal temperature has been met, the display will flash and alarm that your recipe is, that your program is done. If you're doing a cook and hold, once your internal temperature is met, um, the timer will start timing up to show you how long you've been holding.